Pembroke Town Hall, Balls Bridge. Pembroke Town Hall, which dates from 1880, is situated in a prominent position at the junction of Merion and Anglesey Road. It is a landmark building in Balls Bridge, which means it can be clearly seen from a distance. It was the offices of 15 town commissioners who were elected by wealthy local landowners. At that time, not everybody had the right to vote for their local government. The town commissioners governed and provided services to the local area, which was called the Pembroke Township from 1863 until 1930. The township was named after the Earl of Pembroke, who owned most of the land in the Dublin Four area. It included Rings End, which was an old fishing village, and Irish Town, an industrial district, as well as Balls Bridge, Sandymount and Donnybrook, where mostly rich people lived in large houses. The Earl's agent, who looked after his business interests, was appointed chairman of the town commissioners. This gave the Earl a great deal of power over what was happening in the township. The town commissioners took charge of such things as lighting, footpaths and water supply. A fire service was introduced and people could use transport in the area. It was up to the commissioners to make sure that good houses and roads were built. The Rock Road from Black Rock to the city, popularly known as the Rocky Road to Dublin, was famous at the time for its dangerous potholes. It was a constant problem for the commissioners. They had other problems too, very strange ones, like an infestation of pigs and stray animals in Donnybrook. The town hall was designed in an old medieval style called Gothic by the architect Edward Henry Carson. Many buildings in the 19th century were built to look as if they dated from the Middle Ages. The Irish Times of 25th of June 1880 seemed to like the building and described it as a credit to the locality. The article mentioned some of its fine features, namely the ornamental marble pillars at the entrance, a stained glass window at the top of the stairway, a boardroom that would be a model of neatness. It was equipped with electric bells linked to each department in the building in order to summon the instant attendance of officials when required. Modern lavatories, toilets, a handsome clock on the front of the building serving the neighbourhood, its other side recording the hour in the boardroom, extensive stabling for the commissioners' horses and sheds for their carts. The Pembroke Township came to an end in 1930 and the area was added to the city of Dublin. Ringsend Technical School then occupied the town hall until 1951 when the Dublin Vocational Education Committee moved its headquarters there where they remain until this day.